Welding is a true art form, but not everyone who welds is an artist. Today, we brought in expert welders to critique welding fails from TikTok. Let's see that first clip. Customers welding is out of this world. Oh, mm, wow. I think the technical term for those are, are boogers, right? Mm, eh. Cookie welds. Oh, those boy. are bad. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, that food sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sandro, you can find us on Instagram. I weld anywhere from stainless steel, titanium, brass, aluminum. I could get down on it. So what? what is it holding like? I don't uh, know if it's holding anything. It's holding off for dear of... life right there. <laughs> <laughs> the way they're all bubbled up, nothing is consistent with any of that at all. Literally looks like he picked it all out of his nose. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm Jeff Lawrence, and I've been an industrial welder for 15 years working as a maintenance technician doing logical controllers. When I started, I did the same shit. Like, I would weld a seat and then we'll take off and then the seat would just break right off. And I was like, damn, I thought I did a good ass job. <laughs> and you're not even close to bonding those two metals together because there's pain or you didn't prep up, right? Cleanliness is the biggest thing. Always prep your work surface, mm -hmm. get rid of the paint, get rid of the rust, all the grime that's on it. It'll keep from getting all the porosity right there on those welds. Porosity is contaminants that as you're welding will be pulled through the molten material okay. and cause holes, So voids. Like, like skin pores. Yeah. It's 90% prep mm -hmm. and 10% weld. Watch YouTube, watch TikTok. <laughs> There's plenty of videos on teaching you how to do it. Let's see this. All right, we're in an auto shop. Looks like the guy's just grounded on the vice. Oh, oh what, what are you doing, doing Matt? Me. Hey, hey! Whoa! Oh, Matt, he wanted to have some uh, fun as he Is did he, he's it. He's trying to well. lift the car. Oh, oh, sh oh no. A fuel line. A uh, uh, fire extinguisher, Matt. All you did was give it more air. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> He was probably working on a fuel tank, he was probably working on a fuel line, and he let shit drop, and then when you weld, look at that, bam. Where's his hood? He has nothing. <laughs> nothing on. No gloves. No mask. I don't even think he has glasses on. Nothing. It, it happens. I've caught my clothes on fire. I've <laughs> caught any material that's been sitting around, paper towels or fabric. No, I've been on fire. Like, I mean, literally, I've been on fire. <laughs> my brother's been more on fire. It's because when you're in that good spot, mm. you don't want to move. So he was welding, and I look, and I'm like, what the f was on fire? And I'm like, hey, you're on fire. And he's like, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just duck and roll when you're done, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. But yeah, you get on fire all the time. You think he lost his job? Oh, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of face protection, when you put on a welding mask, it's actually not the brightness of the weld that the mask is protecting you from, it's actually the color of the light. See, red light is low energy, while blue light is high energy. And when a light gets so blue that your eyes can't see it, you get into the realm of high energy ultraviolet and x-ray radiation. Science is cool, huh? And that's the kind of radiation that TIG and MIG welding is throwing into your eyeballs. It's kind of like looking directly into the sun. And that safety gear you wear, like sleeves and gloves, it's not just to prevent hot sparks from burning you, it also keeps you from getting skin cancer, which is something I hope this next guy avoids. Oh no, oh, man, not that's creative. Cardboard with the phone. <laughs> Homemade welding mask right there. Man. Bravo, mm -hmm. sir. <laughs> Gotta give him points for creativity there. Dude, this dude's smooth. He's yeah. just, he's got this. The camera's gonna <laughs> auto focus and, and dim for the weld, but mm -hmm. it's still not the best. When you give your eyes that sunburn, it just feels like there's sand and paper on your eyeballs. Ugh. <laughs> Dry. Like you get like a suntan, like you don't even fucking know. Like your skin fucking peels off. Like you want to do like exfoliate or whatever bullshit you do for skincare. Well, without a mask, you'll be crying because you can't even open or close your fucking eyes. All right, that's a rusty old pipe that is no longer together, and looks like this guy's gonna try and You're gonna put them together. Okay. Repair your exhaust. Yeah. All right, so he's cutting it up. He's prepping, I guess. I would assume it's prep. Looking like a pro right there. Yeah. No safety glasses with all the grinding. Oh, he put a little pipe in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Oh, he's sleep. Oh, oh no. What happened? He did all that badass. Why is he oh. showing it like he's proud? Oh, <laughs> that is bad. That metal is way too dirty. That exhaust is worn out and too thin. On that left side, it isn't even bonding to each other. And on the right side, it's just goobered. If it was me, try to replace all the exhausts and then be a little more consistent, I would have definitely tried to clean up as much as I could. If you don't know how to stick weld, don't try it. That's like, honestly, some pro shit. 
takes a lot of practice and a lot of work to be really that, good at that. That this guy obviously needs. Yes. That's used for your high strength, high quality mm. industrial pipe welds. Not a car's exhaust weld. No. When you stick weld, you're supposed to crack it off and it's supposed to look beautiful. Like one solid piece. If you crack it off and it looks like shit, just know that you did a piece of shit job. TIG is much harder than MIG. Whoops. Uh-oh. Done that a time or two when I was <laughs> learning how to TIG weld. More practice required. This is called dipping your stick. At least you're trying. She got nervous and didn't release it on time. The way it looked like she probably was doing it was uh, dabbing it. So as you're going, you're just dabbing your filler rod in. If you're adjusting or you get too close as you're welding, it can arc out and stick. Take you can use it for anything, right? But a lot of people like doing it more for art. It's more like precision welding. But if you don't do it right, you'll do that. You'll burn through it. The colors won't look right. The flow won't be right. You won't even penetrate correctly. You'll just be flowing on top of it. With MIG, you're gonna get more splatter, more mess, wherever the fucking arcs is gonna splatter all over it, so. Next clip. Customer stated, Customer stated they knew a guy. Oh! oh! like an infestation. Where's the milk for those cookies what right there the... on that one? Damn, wow. It's like steel moss. Let's just add to it. Whoa, oh, shit. my God. What the hell? Oh, man, he didn't even try to clean it. How would they think that's okay? That's the worst thing I've ever seen. And I see some bad shit. <laughs> and then you did it twice. These two mother <laughs> gotta look the same. The weight balance we've thrown off. Yeah. Like, oh, trying to make it better by adding more, but it doesn't get better. He probably went through like a whole spool yeah. and said, hey, you know, go bring me another spool because <laughs> I think I missed the spot. The tip for his MIG gun is out too far. Oh, so he's welding. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. So instead of being down here like this, getting close, he's like welding back here. So it's just so, slowly arcing out and then it shorts out. He's doing this. He knew a guy though. He did know a guy. He did know a guy. A guy who sucks. Friend on that one. Yeah, friend <laughs> sucks. Oh, okay. What the heck? What is on here? It's not as bad as the last one, but. Okay. So they were trying to repair a panel. It's not that bad. So do you think there's anything wrong with these welds? Oh yeah, there's something wrong. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. This looks good to Sandra. Yeah, this is pro right here. <laughs> you, guys, you guys gotta show me some better f this, cause that's f pro right there. He might have been going a little too fast, too close, too much, causing it to warp. Do you think this is something that could be repaired or redone? Yeah, oh, it can be redone. Probably just have to take and put a new piece or a new section in that was damaged. So you, you don't work in automotive, so you probably don't see Bondo on a regular basis. No. What, what, what other kind of shortcuts have you seen people take if you're coming behind them and redoing some kind of work? Trying to grind it to make it look smooth or heavy coat of paint can kind of cover up some mistakes. Mm, if it's like thick epoxy paint or something yep. like that. Grinding in paint makes the welder you ain't. <laughs> okay, Rusty. Oh, oh, that's a big oh, no, hole. Better back here. Super welded. Whoa. Oh. Oh. That's getting, not gonna hold. It's getting worse. Wonder what's wrong with it. Everything. Cause somebody needs a new car. <laughs> Extension with no weld. That's falling apart. Wow. You run the risk when you buy like an old custom. Yeah. And my grandpa has this awesome hot rod he built back in the 70s. Ooh, wow. This. At least he was trying to fit it together. <laughs> <laughs> he probably didn't measure anything out. Just cut it, set it there. Measure, measure, measure. Even though you can measure, you're still wrong. Look. Going down the road, hitting a pothole, those are gonna break. That essentially looks like glue at this point. Pretty much. That little bracket right there, they made that shit. They didn't even clean up the edges. Nope. So somebody could just cut themselves. They That's said. what's up. <laughs> If he's gonna do a T weld, I would weld both sides. Mm -hmm. Cause if he only welds one side, the more it rolls, the more it's liable to break. So if he, he wanted to go around it or fit something like this, he could have taken three pieces of flat plate and here and on the top, mm -hmm. weld it around so that he could have welded all three pieces and that would have kept the instructional integrity instead of two flats that could flex. Yeah, if you start welding things and you can't move them or adjust them, that chassis will stay crooked as f <laughs> Let's just say the weld won't break. And see how thick he did it? Right next to it, it's probably thinner. Mm -hmm. So then that will probably mm. bend. Usually you want to switch out the whole piece so you're not going like thick shit and then thin. Because yeah, yeah. then what I'll do, I'll buckle the thin one and then 
I would switch out the whole thing. Custom, dude. It's custom, just like this next clip. Spraying, looks like after a weld, they're spraying. Okay. Looks like it's, a flex pipe. Yeah, to the stainless. Oh wow, it's turning red. Okay. The dye is going into hairline cracks that are in it that you might not just be able to see with your naked eye. I'll have to grind all that out and then try it again. You have to do it again, my dude. And you don't get paid for that shit. No. The pipelines and all that, they have x-ray machines that like a spray. Guys actually scan through that. If a big ass pipe breaks. Mm -hmm. That's a big that's, problem. That's a lot of money. In the automotive industry, if your fitment's right and your measurements are right and you did a nice bevel and then you actually V-shaped it in there so you penetrate through, then you're good. Next clip. Break the welds from the county fair. Oh! Well, those look really old. Looks like a dog threw up. Get, get off that f***ing ride. That looks like a turd. Goobered on. That's mud. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> nice. Oh. One of my best friends, his dad was a is a welder, um, and he would pay my friend not to go to the fair because he knew that this was the type of sh going on. Don't go to the fair, little kids. Yeah. And when you go to a fair, look out for the welds. The clowns, the rides, the candy. Kids, learn how to expect welds. Oh my god. God, that's gross. At least that's not like critical. That's not on a ride or anything. No, but if that's not critical, yeah. well, well, he was trying right there. That looked... Uh, you're giving this a shot. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. All right. You're all right. I okay. wouldn't have rode any of those rides seeing that. He's not even recording his kids or his no, family. He's, like, I he's just it. recording the wells. Good job, bro. Just to quickly fix it so they can get it back up and running, they've just went over it and over it. None of that is getting removed and redone. Mm. It's just getting put on top of. It's not paper mache. That's being strained way beyond its means. If they do that type of work on something like that that you're looking at, imagine yeah. the fucking Ryan. All right, one to 10. What do you rate uh, this one? Two, very inconsistent. Some parts look okay, like on the left there, as to where it looks like he just went across the plate instead of just redoing the weld that broke. He doing it wrong. Doing it wrong. Oh, that's a one. <laughs> All right, we got a railing. That one. <laughs> one. I wouldn't even give that one a score. It's not even a weld. <laughs> that's got not even it. a weld. <laughs> nah, one, two. What a turd. What a turd. All right, we've seen some pretty terrible welds here today, but what does a great weld look like? Let's take a look. Oh, oh gorgeous. Yeah. I think I've seen this guy on Instagram. Yeah, see, that technique there is walking the cup. Okay. Pretty. He's just sitting there and he's using the filler rod to keep that consistent amount mm -hmm. and then just walking it to give that beautiful weave look. Look at that, that flow. Yeah. Oof. Precision, back to back. It's like almost robotic, it's crazy. Sexy. That's nice. It's very consistent, all the ends, the tie-ins from the weld to the metal, and how it's weaved is very consistent. It's both performance and cosmetic. It's like, it's rare. That, yeah, that's a real, it's real rare. skill right there. It's rare. For those that want to make money, welding's the thing. If you're good with your hands, learn how to weld. That's big money. Mm -hmm. That's big money right there. Why? Because there's nobody trying to do our trade. Wear a mask so your eyes don't get cooked too. So. Wear a mask, learn a skill. It's the kind of knowledge we try to give out on this show. If you want to see more automotive experts breaking down viral videos, make sure you click right here. Thank you, Jeff, for coming out. Sandra, thank you very much for coming on the show once again. We'll see you next time with more real mechanic stuff.